Amadal Kumar sharing with you an application question on rate of change. The question here is, the top of a ladder slides down a vertical wall at a rate of 0.375 meters per second. At the moment when the bottom of the ladder is 5 meters from the wall, it slides away from the wall at a rate of 0.9 meters per second. How long is the ladder? So that's the question for you. So let us say this is the ground for us, right? So that's the ground for us. And let me say this is the wall. Okay. And we have a ladder which is kind of uh, in this position. Okay. So that's the ladder. Now the question is that at an instance when the foot of the ladder is 5 meters from the wall, this is 5 meters, this distance. At that time, it says that the top of the ladder slides down, that means it's coming downwards, right? So kind of, uh, it will be like this. Okay, so coming down. So when it is coming down, will indicate this rate of change as a negative number. Let us call this as y-axis, this as x-axis. So I'll write dy dt down with time, right, as minus 0 0.375 meters per second. Now this is very critical. So when we say coming down, we have to indicate this with a negative sign. At the moment when the bottom of the ladder is 5 meters from the wall, it slides away. That means increases, right? That means positive at a rate of 0.9 meters per second. And in this direction we are taking x, we will write change in x with time is 0 0.9 meters per second. Does it make sense to you? And at this instance, x is equals to 5. Okay. Now we need to find how long is the ladder. Let us say that the length of the ladder is L. Okay. So at this instance, let's say uh, we have y on this axis and 5 here. Well, let's take in general x. So in general, the relation between length and x and y is going to be uh, length square is equals to x square plus y square, correct. So let me differentiate this with respect to time. So when I do that, I get two times dl dt, right? Two times l times dl dt equals to two times x dx dt plus two times y dy dt, right? So we differentiated the whole equation with respect to time. Now what is dl dt? Since the length is fixed, it is not changing with time. dl dt is zero, right? Since dl dt is zero, we do get as zero equals to 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt, correct? Now from this equation, we know what x is, which is five, we know dx dt dy dt, we can find y, correct? So let's find y from this equation after substituting the values. Well, we could actually divide by 2, simplify this a bit. So we have 0 equals 2, we are dividing by 2, the whole equation, right? So this 2 and this 2 cancel, right? Dividing by 2. So we do divide by 2, both sides. So here, 0 divided by 2 will be 0. And let's substitute the values. x for us is 5. dx dt is 0 0.9. y we need to find. And dy dt is minus 0 0.375. Does make sense to you. So we substituted these values. Now we'll calculate y. Okay. So let's rearrange. So we get y, 
taking this on this side, we get 0 0.375y equals to 5 times 0 0.9 and y is equals to 5 times 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.375, right? Now we can easily calculate this answer. So it is 5 times 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.375 equals to 12. So we get y equals to 12. Since we know that at this time when the distance of this foot is 5 meters away, y is y, y is 12, we can find L by substituting in this equation, right? Or we can say L is equals to square root of, since that's the hypotenuse, right? That's the right triangle of x square, which is 5, plus 12 square, square root, right? Is it okay? So this y was 12. So we are finding L now. So that is equals to uh, 25 plus 144, which is 13. So 169 square root, right? So we get our answer as length of the letter L is equals to, since all these units are in meters, we have length in meters, which is 13 meters, correct? So that becomes the solution. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. It's kind of important to understand that length will not change with time. So dl dt is zero. That really helps us to simplify and find the solution. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thanks for the beautiful question. Thank you and all the best.